Hey designers, I am here at Silhouette Summit and I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you guys without the craziness of the demonstration room, a little bit more quiet of a spot, some of the products. And really I think this is gonna be helpful because I'm gonna give you a bunch of options, some things that they're thinking about doing and then stuff that is for sure coming out. And then of course, I'm gonna tell you my favorites because you know I like that. Okay, so last year you'll remember they came out with the Silhouette 5. I'm gonna hold this up for you guys so you can see it. A uh, little bit different design from what we've been using for the last few years. Um, really soft pool on the top, but the real big deal you guys was the Electromat. And I have had a chance to do this for all the speaking engagements I've done in 2024. I've been using this for everything and I love it. Okay, so those of you who are my paper girls, and you guys know I love paper, one of the issues that we have had for a long time, especially like the gingerbread house, the haunted mansion, the cherry blossom house, like any of our little houses have so many fine details. So this is killing it for me because now when I do 200 gumdrops, and you guys know I sometimes do do that, like, it's like all set up, you just pull off the top and then you have all the gun drops and you can just like honestly pick it up and like scrape it into a bin. It's kind of incredible. So if you haven't gotten one of these yet, I really highly recommend it. It really changes uh, the game in my opinion for all of us who are working in paper. If you're a vinyl person, I think that it's not quite necessary, but if you've always been scared of getting into paper, like you're always doing vinyl, I think that's the way to go because it makes it a lot less scary, okay? All right, so as you guys know, we have, this is the uh, the marble setup, and you guys can get this right now anywhere, right? And it's been really popular. In fact, I've been having trouble getting my hands on one of these. Isn't it so pretty? So they introduced, and I'm just gonna put this over here, they introduced a couple of different colors that I would love to hear in the comments if you like. So they've got this really pretty wood colored one and heads up, we don't know if they're gonna make these. This is like the coolest part about Summit is we get to see products that may or may not make it to market. So what I would love is if you are in the comments, could you tell me, would you buy one of these things? Because we wanna know if it's something that people would actually love to have in their um, crafting rooms. So this is the light wood version. I love it. I think it's so pretty, like very natural, right? And then the second one is basically like a black marble. I believe it's called zebra. I can't remember quite uh, what it's called, but. Any, anyway, it's the black marble version. I think you will love this as well. So tell me in the comments, A, for the natural wood, B, for the black marble, and let's just see if it's something that people would really, really love, okay? So that's really cool. Now, I told you I was gonna tell you my favorite product on the market, so let me show you that. So this product is coming to market. This is the Silhouette Pro Mark II. Okay, so here's the deal, you guys. Do you guys remember when I got out the Silhouette Pro? You guys still see me with projects. In fact, the gingerbread house, uh, I've done a bunch of other really big houses with it. And many of you guys know I have been just dying to do an entire like Halloween village that's like, you know, big, big size from all of the products we currently have in my Silhouette store. Which by the way, if you wanna link to my design Silhouette store, I'm just gonna leave it right here so that you guys can check it out. You can also check it out in the description. So if you're looking for Karina Gardner or Mini Lou products, cause we have two stores, you, you'll just go check that out in the design store, okay? So here's the thing, everybody always asks me like, Karina, now the projects are sized to a 24 inch machine. Yes, guys, guys, it's called the shift key, okay? That's all you need is the shift key. So any of my projects that you have that are set up usually on 12 by 12 inch mats or eight and a half by 11 inch mats, you're gonna select everything on that mat in your Silhouette software and you are going to pull on it. Make sure you're holding down the shift key and it will pull it all proportionally so it's as big as a 24 inch mat. Okay, let's talk really quick though about 24 inch mats. Do you guys know? So first of all, vinyl, great. Comes in a 24 inch roll. Paper, 
Not so much, okay? So most of the papers that you're looking at using are 19 by 25 or 20 by uh, 26, okay? So if you go to Hobby Lobby, if you go to Michaels, if you go to AC Moore, if you go to um, Joann's, like any of the large size papers that you can buy are going to be those big 19 by 24, 19 by 25, or 20 by 25, 20 by 26, okay? So what I always do when I'm cutting for the mat for this is I trim off the extra inch, right? And then I set it up to the 19 inch mark on uh, on my pro, okay? This is gonna be game changer for me. I think you guys are gonna see a lot more projects on Instagram, on my YouTube channel that are this big size. Doesn't mean that those of you who have uh, a plus machine or a, a cameo or even a portrait can't still make my projects. You absolutely can. But those of you who want to see what a project looks like really big, you guys have seen me do the like the monster flowers. It's to see how big of a pedal I can really cut on one of these machines. So let me tell you why this is a game changer. Um, the biggest thing is you'll notice the setup directly in here is set up just like the Silhouette 5. This is a big deal, you guys. So it's got these clamp on either side and it has five of these little roller things. So in our, in the Pro, I can't remember, I think it's like only two. So it doesn't hold the paper the way that I need it to, to hold. This, we can move it around and it just is far more secure. But the biggest thing is, you guys know I would babysit it. So a lot of you always ask me on the Pro, like Karina, I can't get it to roll straight. So I would literally hold it, even though I would put the station in front, I would hold the, the mat up and make sure that it was up, up, so that gravity was working in my favor so that the paper wouldn't turn. This solves that, you guys. So I'm not planning on babysitting anymore. That is like the coolest thing about this. This clamp on this side should roll it through in the same amount of time and effort as this side. It's also a lot quieter. So I think there are enough things here that this is gonna be my machine of choice. It right now only comes in black. And second of all, you do need to know that there is a stand you can purchase as well. I don't see this product coming out to market until around Christmas time, 2024. So if you're looking for it and you're like, Karina, I can't find it, just give it a hot second. Um, I think it's gonna be online and it might be in craft stores. So just, just go take a look at it there. The stand itself is really, really great for vinyl in particular because of the way it rolls and underneath of it, it's gonna hold. So if you are doing lots of big signs for people, uh, if you are doing artwork and there is a lot of artwork you can do on something like this, it's really, really cool. Um, I was able to uh, show this in the, the YouTube video that I did for uh, when I was in the demonstration room, but they actually had set up a pen tool in here. So those of you who are artists who want prints remade, but it looks like original artwork, can be done on this. You just need to hook up shark, Sharpies and five fine pens, and you can do really large artwork right here. So pretty cool, right? Okay, this is the last product I'm gonna show you guys. Although there were other products that I showcased in the demo room YouTube video, like a ton of like different inserts and uh, like power tools and stuff. So make sure and go watch that video so that you can see all the things. The reason I wanna end on this is because this is brand new and it's pretty spectacular. So many of us at Silhouette have been really wanting something for heat press. I'm still using an iron. You guys go watch all my videos on Instagram and YouTube and I'm still ironing away at everything. This is going to change that and I'm very, very excited. So this is called the Cloche and what you'll see is first of all that it's super compact, okay? And I'm carrying it, which I'm a wimp. You guys know I'm a wimp. I run, I don't lift weights. So um, it's so cute and what I really like about it, I, I think it's gonna look really cute on my craft shelf. So like it can stand and almost act as like a book holder if you wanted to. And it's got these cute ridges on the front, but you guys, it is basically a clamshell, which is so amazing. So it comes in three colors. We do know it's coming out in these three colors for sure. It's a uh, like a milky white, a minty green, and then a chiffon pink, which is so cute. Um, and so it works just like the rest of your clamshells would work, except where it's got some nice features. So. If you pop it open, it's got like a nice safety feature on it because it'll get really hot. It has, you know how on a typical like really big, I have like a really big heat press, right? So I have to set up 
how much, you know, that I want the temperature to be, and I set up the seconds. This is all kind of encompassed in this single round knob, okay? So it has um, a, a high, low, and medium. Low is like 250 degrees, and I can't remember what the high is. It's in the 400s, and then the medium's in the 300s. So like, um, so I do all of my sublimation shirts or I do all of my vinyl shirts at 365. So I would probably put it right above the medium, okay? And then it has an automatic 45 seconds setting on it, okay? So it has this like little safety uh, uh, button here on the side. So once you lay or press your thing in here, you're just gonna use that safety, close it, and then clamp it into place. It will go for the 45 seconds, it will beep at you, and then you can open it up. It's such a clever setup because it's super light. It does a 10 by six area, which is pretty big. Um, I have one of the ones that's like really, really huge and we rarely ever need that really big space. Usually when we're doing t-shirts for girls camp or whatever else we're doing, or if we're doing, um, I'm thinking about like dish towels a lot of times, or you guys have seen us do pillows, like the Chow Bella line where we'll do like a whole bunch of pillows with my fabric line. We'll just need this smaller area. We don't need a really big area. So because of that, I think this is gonna be the go-to for really getting it done. Um, I'm really excited about it because of the sheer amount of pressure that we're gonna have in it to be able to like push it down and get it to, to actually like stick and really be nice and hot. Now here is the coolest thing. I'm gonna close this up, hit the, the safety button and close it up. Behind it, this is like, you guys, this is the best. Behind it they have, so this is where you would put your cord, but this little guy is a heat press all by itself. So you guys know how it is. Like we'll be making something and just like one little curl, one little letter is sticking out and it hasn't heated down. This is a mini heat press. So instead of putting th it through this whole thing again, which sometimes will burn the shirt, you know, you guys have seen it like where you see like the lines of the shirt. Instead, you just use this and you just click down, hold down on it and it heats up to, it's just one setting and it heats up and pushes it down. It is incredible, you guys, I'm so excited. Rhinestones you can do with this. You can do any of those little tail enders. If you have little tiny projects that you just wanna dot everywhere, like little stars or little anything, you can just heat it down with this one little thing. And I am obsessed with this because I think it's so cool, but I think it's even better that they have it so that it is always with your machine. So you always have big projects and then you have little things that you need to fix. I think you guys are gonna love this. Um, I do not know when it's coming out. I'm gonna ask. Christmas, this is coming out Christmas guys. Okay, so this is coming out Christmas time. You're gonna wanna grab one of these. I think it's gonna be a great Christmas present. I hope you guys love this. I'm very, very excited for all these new products. Um, Esteban, do you wanna come in for a second? Sure, why not? Okay, Esteban is, well, well I don't know what your official title is. Outside service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy who does a lot of cool things on live stream. Okay. No, and I'm super excited you're here. It's summer and everything. We're catching some cool uh, rays of the sun and everything. So we have all these cool products that are coming out. Um, we're estimating around Christmas time, you know. For put, a good portion of these that, products. If you're naughty or nice on that list, right? It's just make sure you've been good this year to... <laughs> And if get, you're not good, be good at it. Be good at it, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it right. All right, and so we have all these cool things, cool different uh, colors and crochet, but I think, did you talk about this little doohickey under it? I did, I talked right. about this bad boy. No, and this is this is the great thing, because this is the, the petite. Yeah, is that what it's called? The petite. I didn't know what it was called, guys. Yeah, it's a crochet petite. Okay. So petite is just small. Okay. And it's cool because it has just a stamping. You don't need to like drag and drop. It's very simple where you just have to. Yeah. Click it Although a times. I, Jen showed the demonstration yesterday and she showed like if you did the rhinestone, you hold it in place. Yeah, but rhinestone, if, yes. You hold it in place. But if it's just like a heat transfer thing, yeah, you really, up those you, different lines. you just want to go up and down with it. You don't yeah. want to just leave it in place because it'll burn it. Is that yeah. correct? Yes. And you still want to use parchment. Right. Mm -hmm. you, Always use parchment no matter what you're doing. Yeah. With so you're laying it down. Transfers. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And yeah. so the petite is a game changer. So if you buy the crochet, it automatically comes with the petite. Yeah. And, you know, I'm super excited. I have so many people, so many um, other crafters are like, finally. I know. A heat transferring machine. and like That you can move around. Because exactly. I can't, I can't like, carry my other one. 
I like this I can just one, I could carry all three of, of these. Which yeah, is you can carry up. <laughs> is this your favorite product that we're coming out with at Silhouette? Or... I do like this one. Tell me what your favorite is. But I do like the the Mark II. Yeah, the Mark II is pretty Mark darn II. cool. I'm a guy of black, so I love all the cool designs, sleek, clean lines, especially with mm -hmm. that. And did you talk about how the the roller are? No, but let's do that. Are removable? I haven't. Let's do it. Okay. Show you over there. <laughs> okay, we're back at the Mark II. And you're going to tell us a couple of other things yeah, that I missed. No, so, no, no. It's, it is a whole I know. There's a lot of stuff. And you guys are going to see me using it a lot mm -hmm. when I get get a hold on it. Get a hold on it. So, okay. So, tell us a, a couple of other things that's really cool. Yeah. So, just uh, it is st still compatible with, you know, the heat transfer pen. Mm -hmm. And we have some cool accessories with yeah. that. And so, little tidbit that you didn't mention, but these are removable. Yeah. And do they work on other machines? Uh, I do not think so. We don't know. We do not know. Yet. Okay. Okay. But these, this can go up to like, you know, like you were talking about is uh, 24 inches, but because they're customizable and you can slide them around or just take them completely off, they go up to, uh, I think, what was it? Five inches. There? Yeah. Like we can run a little five inch something just yeah, right over there. Exactly. And you have that second uh, channel to put in the heat pen. Yeah. And so you can still gold foil in it. And I, another thing is, is that this little basket, you come with two different baskets, um, catchers. This is anti-static material. I don't know what that means. So, you know, <laughs> so people, people. Except for the dryer, you know, like yeah, when you put yeah. a static. Put like in thing. that, like the, the wool balls. So do we have to worry about, so you guys know I'm not the biggest vinyl person. I'm a big paper person. So, so for, for the vinyl, vinyl people. For, what okay. you call them, your vinyl girlies? Yeah, I, I, I don't call yeah. them vinyl girlies. I'm sure other people do. Yeah, so your vinyl people here. Yeah. Um, this is anti-static. Um, so if it, it's not going to be sticking. So, because sometimes when you're cutting vinyl, mm -hmm. it will get stuck to not like the the sticky part of it, yeah. But because the electricity, because it is a vinyl plastic, yeah. it gets stuck, or it will get stuck to your fingers. Mm -hmm. So it catches it. But you have two of them, so one from here and then one in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There is this nice one in the back as well. So mm -hmm. it's catching it from the back because one of the things Kelly did show me is that we can do repeat projects oh, yeah. on this. So I, I saw them doing this yesterday. It was really cool. But like, if you want a repeat project, you just hold down this for three seconds. For three seconds, and it, I just saw it like basically light up under Hayden's uh, finger, and then he said he basically waits for this just to get going, and it does, and then it repeats and it's going. And it's great for those big projects that you. Just have to make a million of. yeah yeah so but especially yeah. those of you who own craft businesses okay so like you're selling physical products you're selling like pre-made signs or you've got to have multiple stencils this is going to be really cool for that this is going to be your best friend we actually are put like we actually really want this to go to small businesses yeah especially because it's compact you don't need to take up your whole table just to put this in and it's mobile static free catchers mm -hmm. and just perfect. I know. And one of the other things that's pretty cool about the stand plus the uh, Mark II mm -hmm. is that it bolts in. Yeah, so it like, secure. yeah, so I put it underneath and there's like a bolt that will two of them that holds this in place. So you don't have to worry about it falling over. Not that I ever had to worry about it falling over on my table, but you really have to have an expansive table oh, yeah. to like let it fall on either side. You guys have seen my desk when I, I run it and it's just like, you just want to make sure that it's filled like it there's enough space. No flow. Yeah. No no nothing obstructing yeah. it and anything. Yeah. So this is great and I'm excited. And you can actually put whatever other machine on the stand. It's not gonna be secure, but it is it doesn't bolt it's in. It's capable for the Cameo five, it's cameo for the uh, it's capable for all these other different products, but the Mark II is the only one that gets screwed in. Yeah. So yeah. Just wanted to jump in and tell you a couple little tidbits. There's so much information. I don't blame you for like, there's so much. There was a lot do. and there was a lot yesterday too. Yeah. Like, I mean, I didn't even choose in this video to talk to you guys about all the little tools, but those are really cool tools. So make sure and go check out my other YouTube video because I'm going to talk about all of the little other things that you can get. The the new Excel uh, setup for like, you know, a, a, a Sharpie marker if you want that. And a few other things that I think are really cool things um, that you guys are want to check out. Thank you so much for oh, jumping in here with me. You guys, if you are loving all of this good stuff, and I would love to know in the comments what you're thinking is going to be the best thing coming from Silhouette Summit, make sure and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys all soon. Thank you.